If there is a space within your area takeoff that needs to either be removed or allocated to a different condition, the Backout tool can do this for you. This is useful for cutting out openings in flooring or ceilings, creating window and door openings on elevation plans, or for inserting a different condition within the closed borders of an existing piece of takeoff. To back out a section of an area, first, use the Select tool and click on the piece of area takeoff you want to modify. Then, select the Back Out tool from the toolbar on the right side of the screen. Now, draw the area you wish to back out. The process is identical to drawing normal area takeoff. You can click at each corner and double click to end a shape, or you can click and drag from one corner to the opposite diagonal corner to back out rectangular or square shapes. The only rule is that the back out area must be completely inside the border of the original area shape. As you draw your back outs, the area quantity of the parent condition is reduced. If you double click on the parent condition from within the conditions panel on the left and open the properties window, you can modify how backouts affect its quantities. The default area quantity automatically subtracts the area of your backouts, but you can select the Area Ignore Backout Areas option if you don't want to subtract the backout area. In addition, if you're tracking the perimeter measurement for your parent condition, if you add a backout, the perimeter of the backout area is added to the perimeter of the parent. If you don't want to add the perimeter of the backed out area, Choose the Perimeter Without Backout Perimeters result. You can also choose to ignore backout volumes if necessary. After you draw backout, you can also copy and paste that backout to other portions of your area takeoff. This is useful when a backout repeats across an area multiple times, like a repeating window on an elevation, for example. To do this, simply click on your backout to select it, right click, and then choose Copy Backouts. Then, Right click again and choose Paste Backouts. A backout outline shape then displays and follows your cursor. Left click where you want to place the backout. You can right click and paste backouts as many times as needed without having to redraw the backout each time. Once you've added your backouts, you can also easily fill in those backed out spaces with a different area condition. Select the area condition you want to use for the backed out space from the Conditions panel and then move your cursor into the backed out space on the image. Then, just simply double click, and the backout is then automatically filled in with the selected condition.